Hello YouTube and welcome to this new video. Today we are again in company of the Hyundai T7S, the Chinese tablet I bought some time ago. So yesterday it was released a preview kind of version of Android 4.2.2 for this tablet. This is an official firmware but it is not definitive. On the official website itself it is said that this is not a complete version and that there are some bugs that will be fixed in a new release. So let's see what changed. First of all you can see the new lock screen. This is the Jelly Bean lock screen with the widgets. But the widgets aren't quite working. This is the only widgets we can't add one and we can't access the camera widget. So I don't know if this is a bug or a feature because the lock screen widgets have been criticized by many so this could be uh, a feature actually. We unlock the device and we are in the new home screen. This is Apex Launcher as I always use Apex Launcher but the interface actually looks like this now. The default launcher has the phone UI or phablet UI as you want to call it, the same as the Nexus 7. You see here the interface is quite the same. We have the same Google search bar on the top and we have the dock on the bottom. Moreover in the Hyundai version we have the transparent drawer. Another thing that changed in the new Android version is the actual UI. I'm not just referring to the to the home screen, but to the nav bar and to the new notification bar. The tablet UI on Ice Cream Sandwich is different. On Ice Cream Sandwich we have just a nav bar on the bottom that has navigation buttons on the left and notifications on the right. Now we have the same interface as the Nexus 7 and as the phones. On the bottom we just have the nav bar with the three main navigation buttons and on the top here we have the notification bar and the quick settings so if we pull down on the left we have the notifications if we pull down on the right we have quick settings that don't work really well on this release I think this is one of the bugs they told us about ok I'm not able to <laughs> pull down the quick settings I don't know what happens but sometimes it just doesn't work. I can't pull down uh, quick settings for some reason. But this isn't quite a problem because they are kind of useless on the stock firmware. I mean. Because of 4.2.2 we now have Google Now so we, if we install Google search that isn't installed by default we can just swipe up from the navbar and go to Google and this is the Google Now page that doesn't contain anything because of me. There are some little problems with Google Now but I think they will be fixed in the next release. I will show you uh, now. So first of all if we uh, ask for questions for example now I'm going to ask for weather in Italian. Meteo Okay, first of all, the, the city is wrong and this is because of the localization not working for now. The GPS is broken in this release and will be probably fixed in the, in the next one. We do not have the voice output, so we do not have a response from the Google Now voice that tells us what I will show you now. So in the Galaxy S3 the Google Now voice works. This runs Cyanogen Mod 10.1, so it is quite pure jelly bean. I will show you now. Meteo. So you see, the city is correct and we have voice output. I don't know, this isn't a country problem because it has already been enabled. I didn't have to do strange stuff to enable it, just a day I asked for a question and it worked. There are, ma there are some other problems regarding this firmware that uh, may annoy you. Sometimes it happens that the tablet randomly reboots or that randomly 
uh, freezes in some conditions. I experienced some reboot, but they're not that frequent, so it is the tablet is usable. I read on Slate Droid forums that many users complain about the stability of this firmware that they have problems because the tablet always reboots and it is annoying if it happens but for me it isn't that frequent so I don't care, I just use it a cool thing about being Android 4.2.2 is that we can install all the Synergen mod applications kind of, we can install uh, many of them uh, as you can see here, I've installed c -Lock, that is the uh, modified clock widget that contains the weather and the calendar events. I've installed the new... I've installed the uh, Synergen Mod File Manager and the Synergen Mod Keyboard with some shortcuts that help you type in. Uh, another little problem about this new firmware is that the exploit to root it with Exynos Abuse is no more working. So it has been fixed and we can no more use it to have root permissions. We had to use a Chinese tool called Root Genius, I will link in the description, that basically allows you to root this tablet with a different method. So guys, this was the Unity 7S running Android 4.2.2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more of this and always remember to follow me on my blog. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.